Hi there! This video will cover how a DNA insert can be cloned using restriction enzymes and plasmid vector recombination. Once your sites have been identified, select appropriate restriction enzymes that will cut the DNA only at the sites chosen. Restriction enzymes are endonucleases produced by bacteria that typically recognize four to eight base pair sequences. They cut unmethylated DNA at specific recognition sites, leaving sticky or blunt ends. Select a buffer with suitable temperature, pH, salt concentration and glycerol presence to optimize the enzymatic activity and not damage any of your components. If your sticky ends are not compatible for insertion, then they can be modified through exonuclease and polymerase activity by enzymes such as T4 DNA polymerase. Polymerases are enzymes that catalyze the addition of subunits to a polymer such as DNA. DNA polymerase has a self-correcting enzyme that removes errors as it moves along the DNA during transcription. Exonucleases catalyze the removal of misincorporated nucleotides at the three prime end of the primary strand. After analyzing the sequence of both the vector and your DNA fragment of interest, if there are no naturally occurring suitable sites, then you can use PCR-based cloning to flank your gene of interest with restriction sites that are compatible with the recipient plasmid's multiple cloning site. Before ligation, the sticky ended fragments must be prepared to prevent self annealing. This is done through the use of alkaline phosphatases that dephosphorylate the plasmid ends. If the action of your restriction enzyme has produced compatible sticky ends, then you can proceed with ligation of the fragment into your target vector. The plasmid is inserted into competent cells and incubated for replication. Antibiotic resistance genes are also inserted into the vector, allowing selective degradation of cells that do not contain the recombinant plasmid.